Pretty new Corvette. Nice. What's going on everybody and welcome back. We're actually uh, in Roger here because unfortunately Oscar had a flat tire this over this past weekend. No big deal. Get him fixed up. We should be back on the road pretty soon here. I'm actually should be uh, personally back on the road here. They've been sending uh, our boy Trent on the road because I've been doing the Contender and a few other things around the shop that uh, were my projects I guess. Anyway, we we're actually uh, headed to Bel Air here to look at a 251 Grady White. So I'll see you there. Here she is, 251. Actually a big fan of these boats are perfect for this area in the bay. Look over there, another one of our Grady Whites. Let me get my booties on here and we'll uh, jump in and see what's going on. All right, so our batteries are on. We actually have only one complaint here. This boat just had a birthday. And one of his bait wells is noisy. Let's get underneath here and we'll find out where they're at. They're both right together right here. This one right here would be our back one, and that's our forward one. The line goes up front there. It says the forward one's making noise, so let's turn it on and see what it does. Oh yeah. That don't sound good. Let's turn the back one on. That's how it's supposed to sound. So the back one sounds good. But that one right there, the one that we just turned on, of course it's got to be the one we got to change because it's behind this one. We could essentially take out our bait well if we want to. It's just screwed in here and sealed, which would be a lot of work actually. So I'm going to attempt to pull our lines out of the way and get my arm in there and untwist that thing out of there. Turn that off. Another thing we're going to do is switch it up to this rule pump because the rule pump, in my opinion, is much easier to deal with and it doesn't make those crazy noises. You can just swap the head out if something goes wrong. These magnetic drive versions of these pumps, I've never been a huge fan of because those bearings go and they make that noise. This boat's just a year old and it's already having a problem that shouldn't be. So let me get these lines out of the way here and we'll see if we can reach. Here I got lines off both of them. Looks like that one might hit the other pump, but hopefully it won't. We're gonna try to twist it off here. I'm gonna probably go to the other side and use a tool, like an oil filter wrench, and see if I can get that thing to spin. All good. Can barely reach it. I'm gonna cut the wiring so it doesn't spin around and get tied up on everything. It doesn't matter at this point, she's dead. There we go. Now she's loose, I should be able to just spin it by hand here. There we go. Definitely couldn't make it any easier for you here by putting everything in the way. We're almost there. One more time around here. Maybe not. There we go. Let's get that out of there. Well, here's the difference here between these two pumps. Obviously you cannot change anything on this pump. You just have to change the whole thing out so it becomes costly if they keep failing. There's a magnet. Here, let's take it apart. I'll show you. All right, so here's the housing. There's the bottom piece that connects to your through hole. And there's the pump itself. The eight screws takes this apart. If you look, pull this apart real quick. So basically this is just two magnets. Causes this to spin. So if this locks up, it doesn't burn up the impeller or the motor. Because the motor can spin with the impeller locked up. But for some reason, I don't know if it's the bearing inside here, they just start to uh, make a bunch of noise over time. I don't know if the water gets in them because it's just sealed by this O-ring. 
but it doesn't look like there's anything they got in this one. There's no rust, nothing going on here, but I see this quite a bit. And to change them under warranty, we'll change them back to what these are. But this thing is just out of warranty, so we're gonna put this guy in there. This, this fails, it's much easier. You can just twist this off. Basically, it's just a button. Turn it, pull it out, and there you go. And you can just swap the head out if you need to. This is also easier to install because it doesn't matter. Once you get it tight, this piece right here allows you to spin this body without having to turn the bottom. So, here I'll show you. If you pick that up, it's got these ridges. Spin this separately here. And then clip it down where you need it. Much easier to install instead of trying to spin the whole uh, housing and everything and catch it on everything like I was trying to get it out of there. So let's get this guy in here. Just gonna put some silicone on this, twist it in there, we'll stick our uh, pump in there and we'll see what it does. Just set the camera down here for you, you can see we're missing a ball here. The one here, you know, Lance Armstrong on us. Let me see if I can reach this without touching anything with the silicone. There we go. There we go. It's doing the same thing, touching that stick every time it goes around. We can also pull this off, which makes it easier. That just screws on with that O-ring. Makes it nice. Like I say, it doesn't matter. As long as we get this tight, we can move the housing wherever we need it. We just want to make sure she's good and tight so she don't leak. Then get much more out of it. Here we go. Now we can turn this where we need it without having to loosen anything. There. We should be able to screw this fitting on here. See, it's just a uh, quick connect for the O ring. I think Roll products are probably one of the better of all the products that you can get for your boat. They make good stuff and they've been innovative for a long time. This pump has come a long way. It used to not be like this where you could just screw in completely adjustable in pretty much every aspect of it. It's cool too because you can change this fitting out for bigger, smaller, whatever you might need, a 500, 800, and then 1100 and 1500 go up from there. The pump cartridge is a little bit bigger. All right, we're already pre-wired here. I knew it had a Deutsch connector, so I did it before we came. I knew I was gonna switch this out because we talked about swapping it to a, this style pump for easier access later on. It's always in my way. There we go. There it is, it just clicks in, you hear that? Click it right in there, tight. We'll get our lines back on there. Like I said, you can adjust this and move it if we need to to get the line to fit correctly. Have it in the right spot right there, it's perfect. Just matched up what the old one was like. Tighten that one up. These clamps can be difficult if they're too loose. I want to spin around on you when you try to put some torque on them. There we go. Should be good. Alright, that line's on there. Let's get our. Uh, rear live wall line on. The reason I'm not changing this pump out too is because this one was actually just changed. So the next time it goes bad, we'll swap it to the other style over there. The rule. We got more room, we can use a bigger screwdriver. Now we can plug it in, see what kind of noises it makes. I just turned it on. Now as you can hear is a little bit of a hum. It actually gets quieter once the water gets to it because she's spinning pretty fast. At least it's not making that crazy bearing noise like it was before. Let's turn that off. That's it for today. I'm actually going to tie my wiring up here, get everything packed up, get the boat back on, talk to the customer real quick. I'm going to head back to the shop and get ready for the rest of the week here. If you have any questions about Baywell pumps or wiring or how to get to something or whatever, shoot me a comment. I'd be happy to help you if I can. Like the last couple videos, actually not the last one, but the couple before that, I'm going to show you some. Uh, videos of me about 10 years ago. This one is me borrowing my buddy's RSV4 Aprilia. We used to ride all the time. I've had a bunch of different motorcycles. But uh, 
This is me just uh, doing some normal riding. Don't worry, we weren't speeding or anything. Nothing like that, everything's legal. Anyway, I appreciate everybody watching, and I will see you next time. Later.